Hello gamers, it's SoftKitty99 and today we're back for the end of the Necro Lord Covenant campaign. The final chapter, chapter 9, is Assault on the House of Rituals. So we've got our team ready and we're oh, going to go attack the bad guys and try and kick Kel'Thuzad out and get the Margrave back in power. Calling in all favours. Chantico, the time has come. We cannot allow Kel'Thuzad to wield the ritual sorcery as a weapon. He must be destroyed. Rally our forces. We march on the House of Rituals. Oh, so we've got to rally our forces. Quest objective. Meet Draca and allies at the House of Rituals. Okay, so she says we've got to rally. So do we have to do a quick run around and make sure we've got all of our people gathered up? They're all off on their way. Alright, so we are mobilising. So I think we've got to talk to people then, because she said rally people. All of these have been battle tested. My goods will serve you well. My right, arsenal I've got a few yours. things ready to activate for the covenant. Let's drop in our anima. Accept nothing but victory. Let's activate this while we're here so we get that extra test there. So that opens up the few little side activities. For the covenant. Let's turn that ah, in quickly. Long have I waited for to weave anima. Okay, tower power, yeah, this uh, that's the open up of all the side quest thingies. We'll look into that later, because that's not part of the covenant campaign. Let's not get sidetracked. See, I'm getting sidetracked again. Come on, kitty, don't get sidetracked. Let's go. Right, so I need to go call in on all favours. Right, so it doesn't look like we actually have to run round and uh, get all the forces to say it's time to move. The text suggested that maybe we did have one of those quests, but it looks like we're just going to meet up with them outside the House of Rituals. So that's one less step that we don't need to do. Super, we can get straight into the, the battle then by the sounds of this. I wonder how they're going to handle the battle then. Won't take us too long to get up there. I wonder how big of an army we're going to have. I really hope it feels like a proper, proper battle. The other battle we had where we met up with the Bastion forces, that actually did feel like a real battle, so I'm hoping that this one will be very similar to that. That was handled really well. Right, I think we're here on this ridge. That's a little bit of an exposed spot, isn't it, guys? Okay, just a little bit lower. All the key players are here. Calling in all favours. We were brought together by chance but now we fight as one. Our victory today will be one for all Maldraxxi. The third fall of Kel'Thuzad. The time has come to purge Maldraxxus of treachery. Let's take a screenshot, shall we? Oh, <laughs> I was just going to try and take a screenshot of this uh, group of forces and then uh, another player ran in. Let's wait for them to go away. Oh, they disappeared, so that, that feels like it's a... Um, a separate phase. The time has come to purge Maldraxxus of treachery. Our armies are rallied. Our allies stand ready. The machine of war is in motion. We must win this battle, or all of the Shadowlands will be lost. Quest objective, remove Kel'Thuzad from Maldraxxus. Yes, let's get rid of him and we get a mount, the Taurus. Um We have already done this on T, my uh, Alliance Priest. But it's so long ago, I don't really remember what it looked like. Has turned our great houses against one another. Yes, he has. He's a bad guy. And defies the will of the Primus. Today... He will answer for his crimes. Yeah, not a bad motivational speech there, Draca. Alright, so our key little team are there running in. Right, 
Right, so we need to go this... Ooh, scenario! Oh, that's nice. The scenarios are usually really good. Right, so we have to head up here to meet up with our forces. Oh, no, that's not the real Kel'Thuzad, that's some sort of projection. Plan of attack. Breach the defences. He's insulting us again. You have no hope of stopping what is to come, but by all means, you are welcome to try. We don't need your permission, but we will try. These narrow holes would give the lifters the advantage. The side route is barricaded. The enemy holds the high ground and would rain destruction upon us. Such pitiful barriers are hardly an obstacle for me. We push forward. <laughs> Emily. <laughs> Aran, Masana, take your forces over the mountains and harry their back lines. Yep, distraction this from the back. This is folly. The liches will assail you with sorcery every step of the way. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, we know. Effort. My constructs will weather any storm they can conjure. After the wall is breached, we'll follow your direction, Balmadar. Once we are inside, we must secure the animal reservoir, lest it be used against us. I trust you are ready, Ma Walker. Break those liches apart! Okay, Emily, why don't you and me go and beat them all up, yeah? Right. We don't seem to have Do an awful lot of forces, we just seem to have the key leaders with us. I mean, we do have some other people fighting around the area, but it just feels like that we've got all the key players in one spot, which you, in a real battle you really wouldn't do that. So, I mean, it's story driven, but it doesn't quite feel as good of a battle as the, um, the one where we had Bastion fighting with us, does it? Because that, that felt like we had a whole army fighting, because we were kind of in the middle of the whole area where there were fights going on everywhere with our forces and our leaders were all in different locations, they weren't all coming into the battle all together, so. Oh, there's nobody saying, oh, I've gone, got gone on my own, they're not even going to come with me. Oh no, Emily's coming with me, okay. Okay, do let's fight guys, come on. Oh no, that's, that's, that's not Emily, is it? No, it's not, it's just a lit. Oh, well, so we do have some forces fighting with us then, okay. So basically we've just got to clear the passageway and get rid of one of the mages so that they can stop shooting the magic sitters so that our troops can get inside. Right, so this is the one we've got to get rid of then. So we've got rid of one of the little mages, now we've got to get rid of the big bad mage. And then all our troops can get in, that makes sense. But it is a pretty good um, fortress, isn't it? Like it said, is it Draka said that we've got all the narrow passageways? Or is it no green? <laughs> He's not toying with us, we're beating him up. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, we beat them up. If we do not stop her, she could destroy us all. Right, now we should start to get all of our troops in here now all together, so it should start to feel like a proper battle now. Yeah, look, here come the little guys. Well, they're not little, but you know what I mean, minions. the power of Come on, minions, save them all out. We are going to win. We are going to take this place back for Maldraxxus. Storm the fortress. Get them, minions. We've got a decent sized little imp army there. Oh. And, uh, keep getting knocked back by those little effects. I didn't notice it fast enough to get out of it. 
I was too busy admiring my impaling. Don't jump me! Right, so we need to take out some of the bad guys to complete stage three by storming the courtyard, take out the bad guys. Yay, lovely little imp army, look at him. My minions, go minions! Shouldn't take us very long to fulfill our requirements for getting rid of the bad guys. It looks like our forces might have took out quite a few of them. Right, so what are we missing? I need an ascended lich. Oh, there's one, look! By the crystal. That's the last thing we need for our part three. Stage three, part three. <laughs> Oh no, we need a third one. Oh, I thought it said two. No, it says three right there. There's one there upon this little platform. At last! Oh, the power I deserve! Take up Baroness Minadar. So we're going back in now and taking out all the people we helped in the last chapter in chapter 8, all the people that we did all the little quests for trying to get ourselves ingratiated into the house. Now we're taking them all out as we go. Oh, lots of AOE effects to avoid with Minadar. I only spent half, half the fight running away. Get a minion, just get all my minions out then they can fight while I'm running. Oh, I was supposed to get behind the pillar. Oh, I got too far away from it, okay. One of those high from the effect things. Didn't seem to do too much damage though, luckily, so. No! I will have what I was promised! What I have earned! Ninada, you cannot control that much anima! Oh. I must have ah! uh, No, she wants power so much she's gonna blow herself up. She did. She blew herself up. Oh no, that's that terrible. Utterly obliterated her. Wait, the staff of the Primus. It is still intact. If we return this to Margrace and Dane, we may yet stand a chance against Kel'Thuzad. Oh, okay. Then so we just we have to get them to the Margrave though first. He has seized the Prime Arcanum. It is where we conduct our most potent rituals. Don't tell me that's the floating fortress, isn't it? We kept looking at the floating fortress in the last set of quests, didn't we? Thinking that we'd have to go up there for some reason. And now we know why. We've got to get the Margrave free the and give her the stuff. Weapons won't break through that barrier. We must destroy the shield stabilization crystals if we are to reach him. Right, take down the shield, get rid of the crystals, okay? The rest of you! Out. Engage their now we've got lots of people fighting, yes, now it feels like a proper battle. Right, so we need to take out the mages putting the shield down, so fight the people with the crystals, destroy the crystals, bring the shield down. Okay, got my plan. Right, that's one. There's another crystal over there. Oh, there are the flags. There's the other mage keeping the shield up. Shouldn't the people keeping the shield up be inside the shield rather than outside the shield? That seems like a bit of a failure in their planning there, didn't they? Right, there's the second one. Right, so the shield should come down. Oh no, they're already in the ritual. Why are we always late? Wait, it's the Taragru. Or 
version of the Terror Grove, like the Terror Grove. We'll be overrun. Necro Lords, hold your ground. We will not fail Maldraxxus. Do we have any Frost Mages by any chance to put his fire out, please? Well, it's nice to see Draven. The beast is exposed. More offer. Strike it down. We will keep you covered. Look, Kelfas is a fire mage, and this is a fire dude. That might not go down so well. Okay, guys, come on. We'll use whatever help we've got. Everyone, come in here and help me fight this thing. All right, Draven's gonna shoot him from the skies. Yes. Draven's going to land on him. Stun him. Good idea. Right, so he stuns it and then we can do damage while we're doing that. Right. So while it's up, run away. Draven will stun it and we can unload everything at it. Yeah. Got to. Don't stand on the fire. Draven's almost up here there. Driver, stun him, please. Yep, I'm stunned. Right. Let's get a few more minions out. Fight the bad guy, guys. Yeah, he went down a lot that time. Good, good, good. Not even sure we'll get Driver to come back in again. Awesome, that wasn't too bad at all. Now we've got to end Kelthazard. Right, so we need to go up, well Draven. Are you a lift now for us? Baroness Draca has begun her assault. Give okay. the order and I will bring you to the battle. Thank you, Draven. Draven's a really nice taxi service. He fights well and he taxes us around. Good man. Right then. I am assuming we're going into the, the Flying Fortress this time, aren't we? We are, aren't we? Yeah, we are! Yay! I knew we'd get in there eventually. Superb. Right, so Margrave Sindane's trapped in Frost. What an impressive gathering! So many courageous champions! I am truly honoured! Why, Why is everybody so sarky in this, um... I never did properly thank you. For They're all so sarcastic. Enough. In this storyline, everybody's sarcastic. Kelthus are sarcastic. Balmador is. Kelthus is. Surrender or be destroyed. Fools. It's not going to surrender. It was all too easy to sow chaos and discord within your squabbling houses. Yeah, because the they weren't all on the same page, sadly. Exactly as intended. A pity you will not see it come to fruition. Kel'Thuzad is siphoning power from Margrave's days. Weaken him so I might use the staff to release her. Right, so we have to fight. Well, we actually get to fight him this time. We uh, probably shouldn't stand in that. Right, so we can start to try and figure out what sort of attacks he's got. Okay, so he does like a green thing then fires out that frost ball, so we definitely don't want to be stood in that. Alright, now he's bringing in lots of minions. Oh, are we going to have to stand up? I kind of got pulled in. Probably should have stood behind the frost maybe when he did that. Oh no, the frost thing is going to... Uh, I can, uh, there's got lots, quite a lot of different effects in this fight, then, isn't there? Yeah, he's got quite a lot of mechanics. That's interesting. The um, bosses and storage like that tend not to have a lot of effects. It's really kind of cool that this one's got a lot. Ooh, Soul Weaver. Maybe we should get rid of some of these ads there. Spells are quite slow to cast though, so not the best cast, but 
keep swapping between lots of targets and so many AoE as well. Get rid of the Soul Weaver. Oh, he's, he's either healed it or summoned another one when we got rid of the first one. That's really weird. He was almost dead and then she had full health again. Hmm. Right now he's behind the shield. Okay, so I don't think the little ones are that big of a deal. You just don't um, touch them and just fight the bad guy, yeah. Yay! Right, so can we get the Margrave back out? Come on, Malpadar, get the... Come on, Balmadar, get the get the get the Margrave back out. We are not the ones you need to fear, Kelfizan. She's not gonna be happy with you usurping her. Your cause is lost, you sir. Now you'll answer for your crimes against Maldraxxus. And against me. Oh, yeah, she's definitely not happy. Way. Your victory. Is our hollow one. The medallion is ours. Let us return to Revenus. What? We cannot simply leave. Not while Kelgazar yet lives. I will have vengeance for Silvermoon. Oh, we can't. This guy really can't let it go. He's gonna get away again, isn't he? Come, witch. The banished one calls you to his side. Yep, he gets away again. Kalfas is gonna be is so sad about that one. Were I the suspicious sort, I might believe you were plotting to unseat me as Margaret. We haven't had Not time to leave. Oh to gosh, nobody's grateful, are they? Your strength is needed if we are to thwart the jailer. I see now the true threat before us. The House of Ritual stands with you. As proof of my good faith, I offer this staff, once wielded by the Primus himself. Oh. We will return the staff. That's unexpected. To the it shall serve as a reminder. Of our this is actually being nice to us for once, giving us the staff back and uh, agreeing to help us. I thought she was going to be ungrateful like everybody else from the house. Has been Interesting, from huh? And we have gained an uneasy ally in Margrave Sindane. I admit I had doubts about you at first, Marwalker. But you have proven to be a valuable champion of our covenant. There is much still to be done. Byraz must answer for his treachery, and Kalthazar as well. Indeed. But now let us bring the staff of the Primus to our sanctum and savor our victory. Alright, so we returned the staff to complete the Primus statue. For all eternity. And that is the end of the campaign then. You colluded with outsiders to defy your house and your Margrave. He did it to save you. Treachery and restore your rightful rule. Indeed. Then it is only fitting that you atone for your indiscretions. As my baron. From ah. this day forth, you will serve as my liaison to Baroness Draka. I will not fail you, my Margaret. Ah, well, he gets his reward at least. That should make him happy. Right, so let us use the translocator. And then there should be a portal to take us back. To the Covenant Sanctum. Yes. And now we can go and put the staff onto the Primus statue. And I think that that is the end of the Maldraxxi campaign. This is the final chapter. So we've played through all of the Covenant stories oh, now. The Third Fall of Kel'Thuzad. 
Kelthazad escaped into the Banished One's hands, but at least his evil has been driven from Maldraxxus. Well fought, Chantico. Now we focus on rebuilding our forces and restoring order to our realm. And we get a Taurus and another emblem of renown, which is pushing our renown quite high, I think. Yeah, 78, but we're nearly maxed out. Super. The Staff of the Primus. Staff of the Primus, the final piece of our leader's regalia. I can't deny the pride I feel in restoring this hall. You should feel the same sense of accomplishment. The statue awaits you, Chantico. Bring glory to this realm. See, I told you we were going to put the staff back on the statue. Quest objective. Place the staff of the Primus upon the statue of the Primus. And you get to choose a um, raid finder token for a weapon or an offhand or a weapon or a staff or something and uh, get another emblem of renown so we are going to be very very close to maxima the uh, reputation by playing all of this through now there we go just put the staff on what's he got to tell us this time Focus. Everything went wrong, they weren't just in each other. That's why it all broke down, all the houses were backbiting each other and not working together. Always ready for battle. I sense power, power and ease. Oh, right, then you pick whichever one you want. And then we need to go find the raid finder, trader, to get our reward. And now you've got the appearance for the whole of the Covenant Sanctum set and a weapon as well. Go ahead. Depending on which one Take you picked pick. and which class you are, of course. So we could have a, a dagger or a staff with the one that we got. We're going to go for the... Dagger because I got the Remember stuff on my other character, so I want to get all of the different appearances. Make me. It's that one of those sickle daggers. I'll get a better look at it later. Yeah, one of them size sickle daggers. Quite a nice appearance, actually. I like the little green glow moving through it. Matches the aesthetic of the. Order hall very, very well. And then we should have a quick look at the Toralus that you would get by doing that as well, shouldn't we? So we need to go outside to be able to mount up. And I can show you that. Right, so let's try and find the correct one. Oh, no. Nope, spelled that wrong. <laughs> oh, Tarlus. There you go. Armoured War Bread Tarlus. So this is the one that we get here for completing it. Right, so let's go outside so we can jump on it and then just give you a quick view of it and its animation just before we end the video. Quite a long way to run, isn't it? There we go. Let's mount up so you can see it. There we go. Quite like that animation, actually. It's kind of a frisky jump around and then it growls at everybody. Kind of cute. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. From SoftKitty99, goodbye and happy gaming!